to start the 2013-14 school year, we will have no, um, no more uh, PCs in the classroom. It will be strictly uh, a mobile fleet of tablet PCs um, that our teachers will be uh, integrating, using, collaborating with, uh, working in committees with, um, working one-on-one -on -one with students, um, and doing uh, new and engaging uh, teaching techniques uh, with the tablet in the classroom. So how did the tablet PC program come into place at Loyola Blakefield? In my sixth year here at Loyola and my first two years at Loyola, we spent um, thinking about and assessing um, our current technology use at, at Loyola. And um, also at that time, we were uh, transitioning to online grades. Um, one of the things that we wanted to do uh, at that time was to provide our teachers with a more mobile uh, option to be able to um, provide and to carry out the different tasks that they're asked to do, um, increase demands um, for record keeping, etc. Um, and we felt that the tablet PC would be able to provide that and be a great transitional device for them because it can be used like a modern uh, or a traditional laptop, but it can also be swiveled uh, into a slate device and used for more um, higher level uses for teaching and instruction. So teaching at Little Big Field, um, the tablet allows me to not only be more mobile in my classroom, also allows the students to become more involved uh, by inking on the tablet being able to pass around uh, the tablet for uh, students to, to use, to uh, offer their input as well, also I think provides a deeper, um, richer learning experience for the students. Uh, but the tablet is more so, I think, uh, benefited my professional development. It's allowed me uh, to be more efficient, not only taking graduate courses, attending conferences, uh, but also my own research for my classes. And I think it's provided a, a deeper course uh, deeper course material for me to teach as well as it's made me a more complete teacher. So how did we prepare for the tablet program at Loyola? Uh, anything we do here we make sure we have a plan before we actually implement. So we spend a lot of time with faculty, we spend a lot of time talking to students, we have a technology advisory group where a lot of this stuff is vetted prior to actually implementing the plan. We wanted to make sure it was financially feasible which is why we did this over the course of four years. That way, moving forward, as we remove PCs from the classrooms, this was a model that was financially sustainable for the school and also met our goals uh, for better instruction. So our faculty, we feel, are better trained than a lot of other schools that are out there. Our faculty are the trainers. That is the strongest part of the program, where we have faculty that come back and care enough to help train their colleagues. I, I feel that sets us apart. We've decided not just to drop the tablets in the teacher's lap and let them figure out for themselves how to use it in the classroom, but we actually have teachers who are experienced with tablets, who have used them for a couple years, come on in and sit down with the teachers over a two-day time period and walk them through all the things that those experienced teachers do in the classroom, how they use different programs like PowerPoint, uh, Word documents, OneNote, Google Apps, uh, and many other different uh, resources on the internet and resources through Microsoft uh, showing them how to actually use these programs. And so when uh, the teachers who are just receiving the laptops see how experienced teachers use them, uh, colleagues of theirs who are able to sit down with them and talk one-on-one -on -one and walk them through the process, it makes it a lot easier for these new teachers to adapt the technology and uh, feel more confident using it in the classroom in the fall. So what sets Loyola Blakefield apart from other schools um, that are integrating tablet laptops or mobile fleets into their teaching? Um, I, think, I think the biggest thing is our um, Cura Personalis um, that we've integrated into our training. I think um, over these last uh, three or four years with our um, training, we've, um, we've really taken the feedback seriously um, and improved upon each and every tablet training opportunity. Um, the integration of our own faculty and staff into the training, having our in-house trainers was priceless um, and invaluable um, because they know the students, they know the teachers, they know, uh, you know our Jesuit way of proceeding here um, with just good quality instruction. Um, and they were able to share um, and show that cure personalis um, and try to meet the teachers where they are. Um, just today we had uh, Larry Jarzeski, um, who's been teaching for 43 years, come back, who was a, a trainer or a, a participant last year in our tablet training, and he just shared um, some of the many amazing things that he's doing now with OneNote, 
Um, and he, his message to the teachers was, I'm 65 years old, I've been teaching for 43 years, and I still have things to learn. Um, and don't be afraid of the technology, um, the support, the IT staff, and our academic technology staff um, will be there to support you. Um, and I, I really think that was kind of the, uh, you know, the thing I'm most proud of is uh, you know, people like Larry here at Loyola that are making a difference um, in the classroom and just showing a passion, not only in the classroom, but also with their, um, with his fellow colleagues. The teachers continue to, to use these tablets in new and engaging ways, and we try to create a lot more uh, opportunities for them to exchange dialogue about how they're using it, best practices, um, and, and help train one another. Uh, looking towards the future, where are we? We spent a lot of time developing our classrooms uh, to make sure they support the tablet model. We have you know, the, the tools there. We have the tools in the hands of the faculty. As we look towards facilities uh, and renovations, we're keeping that model in mind to make sure the tools we give the faculty are usable today and over the next five to 10 years.